Welcome back to 307 Reacts. If you guys haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do so. Like, comment, let us know what we should react to first, and second, and third, and fifth. We're on video and seven now. Seventh, and eighth, and ninth, yeah, and tenth. We want to keep this going. Yeah. So, um, Matt has informed me that we are watching a video of a very young drummer. Yes. And both of us are musicians. We have, I used to play in a band. He still currently does. In like three bands. It's fine. And there's children out here doing things better than oh. adults. Oh, dude. And it makes me just want to quit life. Yeah. <laughs> so so today is one of those videos. Yes. Um, precursor into the video. Uh, the video is going to be a drum video. It's a drum solo video by a drummer named uh, Tony Royster Jr. Um, this video was taken in 1997. So I think in 1997 he was 12 or something like that. So I, relatively my age. I don't know math very well, but I think he's close to around my age. So yeah, he, nowadays he's like, he's like, you know, in our realm of, of our age group. <laughs> but this is a video shot in 1997. Uh, he went to, I don't know where it was shot at, but uh, he went and did a, uh, a drum solo at this place. And so I'm going to show this to Boosh, and he's going to uh, he's going to tell me what he thinks at the end. Here we go. All righty. Tony cool. Royster Jr., 12 years old. Let's get it. Okay, really quick, let me stop and just, just again, precurse this. <clears throat> None of this video is sped up or enhanced or, you know, no. digitally anything. Uh, like, this For, is all just him playing. <laughs> first off, that guy's got a, that kid has a drum set that's probably worth more than my truck. Oh, this, like, in, <laughs> this entire room around us and everything in that room and everything in the living room. Like, I, like yeah. <laughs> like, this kid is insane. The first just couple seconds of it. We're only 22 seconds in. The and first, like, 10 seconds, I'm like... He's already hit a thousand drums. Right. Yeah. It's amazing, yeah. right? It, and it just gets so much better. Oh, he's great. Onward. <laughs> 12 years old. Dude. Oh, nice. Yes. Let me just say really quick that up and down, that up yeah. and down rhythm on the hi hat and the cymbals and stuff. The <laughs> it was a, he was hitting the hi hat and snare. Yeah. So snare down, hi hat, high. And, and sometimes like, he he just rocks the hi hat up and down, like, and he yeah. just he just plays the beat on the hi hat. Well, that's how you get it faster but like most people don't think about amazing that. dude the mm. the other thing is like the tonality of the toms his expression like yeah. yeah the tonality the expression of the drums like number one this being an expensive drum set set it should be good right but and it's mic'd very well <laughs> um whoever tunes his drums which at 12 year olds i i, I doubt he tunes his own yeah. but yeah like Whoever tuned his drums is a pro. Killed it. Makes them sound super good. Killed it, yes. And everything is, like you said, it's very expensive equipment. Obviously, all the heads are brand new. Oh, yeah. Um, other than the snare head, was what it looks like to me. All the cymbals are brand new. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's a it's a, it's a an event. Obviously, it's probably a, a Pearl-sponsored event. That's the drum set. Mm -hmm. And um, Zildjian's probably a big part of this. And I, I don't know the context of it, but I assume it's some sort of competition based thing or performance based thing where he's won something and is able to do this performance in front of all these people. I don't know. That's all that's all I can get. So if from I ever it, start another band, I'm just gonna have to hit him up. That's <laughs> yeah, all there right? is like, to him. Like, hey yeah. bro, you wanna fly out to Wyoming? Like, yeah. He's like, no, nah, no. He's thanks. like, no, I've got I'm in LA and I just make money playing studios. So yeah. <laughs>
Damn, cross sticking, dude. Get some, dude. And then just can play these grooves yeah. that are like. Just constant double kick. His control is just on point. And he's, dude, so young. And his dynamics, oh, dude. I love it. Building. I love that he always runs the toms, too. Mm -hmm. He always runs all the way down. It's so good. The other thing I just Boy's about to too. start a fire if he moves right. any quicker, dude. Like, that's all wood. That's all wood, people. Like, he could start a fire real quick. The, the wild thing is, is, like, you look at the sticks. The sticks almost look as long as his arms. Right? Like, <laughs> like when they come out, it's like this weird extension of himself, yeah, like, dude. The, uh, the other thing, like, we mentioned his dynamics there. Like, basically yeah. just going from a soft and then building it louder. Right. So dynamics is all based on your volume, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I think what a lot of musicians miss is actually putting dynamics in their music for, for real that's, a, that's makes, a big deal like it especially makes the music so much better with modern music production especially especially with modern music production everything is always capped 127 100 percent like drums mm -hmm. especially because they're all sampled now and they're all digital mm -hmm. and so drums are always massive which can you know in the right situations is great yeah um but it you you lose that you lose that humanization of just like yeah, having human a drummer connection of yeah. a real instrument played and, by a real person and and straight up, like speaking from speaking from a drummer, like I am a drummer, uh, tried and true. Yeah, Man, I couldn't be. No. Consistently hitting those double kicks like he's doing at that low volume and just running it like that. Oh, just your calves have got to be he's, burning. He, this kid makes it seem like it's just butter, and he's not yeah. even thinking about it. That is a very, very, very hard thing to do, and like a serious acquired. You have to play for a long time to be able to like do the, that those dynamic changes while mm -hmm. you're running kicks, like. Yeah, it's it's amazing, dude. It's amazing. Oh, he's great. And we haven't even we're still we we got some time left. Let's go. He does some beats here in like 30 seconds or so that are phenomenal. These nasty like I don't know. You, you'll see. See where he speeds up there with the sticks but keeps the feet consistent. It's huge. Yeah, it's amazing, man. Sorry, I lost my headphones. You're good. For a minute. You're good. I got all excited. <laughs> the upside down on the symbols, man. Yeah. See, there he is with the bottom and top yeah, of the symbols he's, again. He's doing it on all of them. This kid's footwork is fucking unstoppable, dude. He's got two and four on the hi hat. I love his stank face every once in a while. Oh man, he's like, he knows. He knows oh, yeah. what he's doing. Yeah, his so his his little his di his just his accents, man. Mm -hmm. He's always got if you watch if you watch that left hand on the snare drum, mm -hmm. it almost never stops moving. 
No. It's constantly no. playing ghost notes, and for anyone that doesn't know what a ghost note is, so when you hear those big fat hits on the snare drum, all those little things, those little tippy tappies that he's hitting in between, yeah. those are all ghost notes. So they're not technically part of the beat, but they are just like a, they're, they're a filler in between everything mm-hmm. else that he's doing. And they all fall directly in line in between everything that he's doing, man. And he can also hit these these bell symbols and these little tiny splash symbols and mm-hmm. like... It's great, unbelievable. I I just noticed, by the way, the symbol. If you're if you're looking at the video now, where we have it paused, that symbol that's to the left, is that a China symbol hung upside down? Is that uh, the one hat? right here? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The the kind of the closest one up on the bent stand yeah, yeah, right yeah. here in front of us. That is a China symbol. And contrary to popular belief, mm. that that's actually the way they're supposed to be set up. Oh, okay. they're supposed to be set up flange out. Okay. Um, you see them set up other ways in certain, mm. and I don't know Based the difference, what but they're doing, like, as far as I've ever seen in my entire life, mm-hmm. and again, I'm coming from a drummer's experience, that's that's how they're supposed that's to be played. Set up. That's okay. why they splash the way that they do, is the way that yeah. they're, the way their frequencies are set up or whatever. Okay, yes. Like crash or whatever. That's a, that's a China, and then he's got a, like 68 crash symbols and a big ride symbol there, and then hi-hats <laughs> right. and a little tiny bell. He's got, he's got. A uh, bell and then a splash. And then a, spl- a tiny little splash there, yeah. dude. Little itty bitty thing that's making great accent noises. And then oh, he's got great. a second snare too, and he uses that here soon. So, yeah. onward. Right into the sickest beat ever. And he starts on the two high ones, mm-hmm. and then he moves down. Mm-hmm. I love that. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Build it. One hand. That's one hand. Oh, there you go. There you go. Twirl it, bro. Hell yeah. What is this kid, dude? And then just the sickest... Oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All those little ghost notes, man. Oh, I love the use of splashing what? bells. How many different things is he hitting right now? I don't Does this kid have like some secret arms that are coming out like and just hitting all these random Great. notes, dude? That's amazing! Oh, he's, oh, he's playing traditional now. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Just one hand. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus. Just beating the shit out of him. <laughs> Slow down, kid. You, you know? think you think the drum set owed him money, bro? <laughs> no shit! <laughs> no shit! <laughs> You think that, yeah, like, if that drum set's got a debt to be paid, and here's, oh, yeah. it's time to pay the piper, man. E- easier to take it, man. <laughs> Dude, okay, Where, when he was doing that, but you could take it together with yeah. all the different symbols in there. Yeah. Dude, his hands were like, they weren't even connected to his forearms. They well, were just it, like these wrists on these. And what's crazy is he's like, his arms just kind oh, of and he's just moving back around like, like this. And, like, you're watching it, and it's visually a lot to take in, but he's just, like, And that's not even showing what his foot's doing. Like, his hands are doing these loose, hinge, weird, liquid movements, but his foot's also down there, like, keeping keeping the steady, man. And his his left hand's doing this weird ghost note thing. At the same time, it's coming over here and hitting. Dude, I, I, I will tell you, like, for those of you who haven't joined a band or played in any part of the band, drummers are very hard to find. And there's a lot of people who can play drums, but, like, drummers that can... Because, like, here's the thing. When you go to a show, right, and your band is playing a show, the lead singer may feel like, you know what? I want to hit that chorus again. And he has to look at the drummer first. Exactly. Because the drummer has to... He plays the downbeat. where the rest of the band's going to go. Yep. And what's crazy is I played rhythm guitar in our band, 
And whenever the lead singer wanted to hit the chorus again or whatever, we would, I, I wouldn't even have to be looking at him. I would be fucking off somewhere else on yeah, stage. Yeah. And I would hear that downbeat. I'm like, let me oh, unplug he's out, my he's headphones. Out, I'm all yeah. excited he again. He was all in a story and he just unplugged uh, his headphones. It's fine. I so, got you. So uh, when, yeah, he would hit that downbeat and you know, oh, we're going back to chorus. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, instead of a G, I need to play an A this time. Yeah. And then right back to the chorus again. So the drummer is very pivotal as to where the show goes oh. and to make sure the band stays together. Absolutely. I and I'm totally biased because I am a drummer. Again, I'm just gonna bring let's see how many times we put a fucking ding on the screen for every time I bring up being a drummer. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I fully subscribe that. I mean, the drummer is definitely one of the most important parts, if not the most important part. I of mean, being for, for the most part, the lead singer is driving the show, but the drummer has to be the, paying attention. The lead singer is what people are watching. Yeah. The drummer is what people are listening to. And that's, that's kind that, of what, that's fair. what I've learned yeah. over time is like the lead singer. Definitely. You're right. Is the one that sells the show. The drummer is the one that puts it together. Yeah. So right? like, so like, basically, the lead singer is feeling out the crowd. Mm -hmm. He's like, "We need to hit this again because yep. they're gonna love it." And the drummer is feeling out the rest of the band to exactly. make sure the drummer's just making sure every, the the set is going off just like the album. Yeah. Like that's exact. That's the drummer's job on stage. Mm -hmm. Make the band sound like the album. Yeah. So yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, or anyone that's going get, like considering starting a band that might come across this, um, yeah, find yourself a killer drummer a good drummer then find yourself a killer singer worry about guitar players very last guitar players are a you're gonna dozen, find a billion right? of them living in the house next door so don't yeah. worry about it so anyways onward we're almost done Here we go. Almost. grand finale oh that footwork once again i'm telling you Tom work. That was solid. Mr. Tony Hell Royster yeah. Jr. I was going to say it for you, but they already did. That was insane. Tony was Royster Jr. And I seriously encourage you guys, if you, if you are, if you, are inter interested in that type his name into YouTube mm -hmm. and look at his recent stuff. He's, you know, as old as we are now and he's still doing the same thing, but he's even if you can believe it, he's even more refined and has just this man, this capability behind a drum set. That's the only way I can I can phrase it. I you mean, have it, to I mean, music within itself is art, but certain sections of me like, you know, fantastic guitar players oh, is art within its own. There's a so beauty. So drummers and... Absolutely. Yeah. There, each each piece is an artwork in itself if you find the right artist to make it happen. And that absolutely. dude is definitely one of them. So. Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, if you guys like this video, uh, please, again, like we said at the top, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, become, become part of our notification, notification gang. gang. I nailed it. <laughs> and um, <laughs> let us know what you guys want to see next because we thrive on your guys' suggestions. So please let us know what you want us to watch. And by the way, we love talking to you guys. Like uh, we have been yeah. just overwhelmed with unbelief. I literally with the comments we have been getting and it's it's seriously you guys are amazing. We love you guys and we try to respond to everyone. If we don't respond to it, we at least like the comment. Absolutely. So it's not like you're going to comment and go ignored. Like, Your comments you at this point especially will not go un, un or ignored because um, they're the only ones that we that we have at this point. So yes, please leave us a comment and let us know what you guys want us to see. Absolutely. We will see you guys next time. Wow.